Beer lovers, listen up. NC State is working to create a new kind of brew using the creepy crawly ingredients from your backyard. Yeah, it's true. CBS North Carolina's Megan Newland explains why beers made from wild yeast are what's next. Fast. Wasps. Most people try to avoid them. He's right there on that piece of fruit. But not Lauren Nichols. She seeks them out, corners, and captures them. There we go. Armed with a net and a vial, the NC State research technician searches for the insects on fruits or flowers. Finding them can be a bit of a painstaking process, but in the end, it all goes towards something many people appreciate, beer. Researchers are using the yeast found in and on insects to brew different kinds of beer, but there are many steps between the bug and the bottle. And I'll take her back to the lab and I'll extract yeast. Once the wasps are back on yeah. campus, they're held in a freezer until it's time to collect. We grind them up to see what's either on their surface or inside of their guts. Um, and from all of the organisms we find on or in the wasps, we pick out the ones that look like they're potentially yeast. And then we run a number of genetic and biochemical tests to figure out which ones are actually yeast. Researchers then place the yeast onto a petri dish where it grows before it's off to the brewery. And if you think this all sounds a little strange, so did Dr. John Shepard, at least at first. We didn't really know at the time when we tried this whether the yeast would be suitable for, for brewing. Honestly, I was quite skeptical <laughs> whether they would be. And we were quite fortunate, actually, uh, that the, the two uh, yeast strains that we first tried actually made a palatable product. Beers made from wild yeast taste a bit different from other beers. They have a lot of fruit character to them, very aromatic with a touch of tartness. And the professor of bioprocessing science believes they'll grow in popularity. So far, the beer we've made with this yeast has been um, very well received. So I think this is really the leading edge of, of new beer development. For What's Next, Maggie Newland, CBS North Carolina. Well, before the yeast is used, it is tested to make sure it is safe for human consumption. So in other words, do not try this at home. Humans